Hallelujah. Virginia Hospital Center. Now, be why I for a woman called Allentown Minor Care. Now, be one called Granny Merwa or my other normal home. Now, be one nurses are who run so I walk home. Now, Oko Hospital, who are doctors are or more to do. Yari Pian and a doctor. Yari Pian, I yari a woman, yes, in Yabro, or Pian and a doctor. And see, I read it. And your doctors, our hospital. I am one in Sutti, and I used to Christo Bay. We are saying, Hallelujah. And you see the offering to the Yes Christo Bay. We are saying, See the offering. May Paul Mombama five thousand. May Paul Mombama five thousand. Who has everything I used to buy? We are May Na and then I saw for no mucho rosary, you say, your friends, and no mucho. No more display. What kind of thing I used to give so by? May Pasaria, a nipper woman dorsum. Nipper woman dorsum, so young for Bible in church at all. That is not why Jesus Christ came. Yes, to give so by at the boy of twenty. Na baby is so empty one. I baby is full one. A whole empty a dozen. A whole empty a bobo amano. Just yesterday, somebody sent me a video about Chinese. I will move to Nepal. I'm going to come beef in this city. I come beef. I di ako Africa. Nepal. Na American na na mi home empty. I saw vultures around them. Oh, said that I am bad. Say, baby, you flew on. Never better than I can watch you. Baby, any power, one more fair, and so I'm a clad and quano. I hope any of you can say, praise the Lord. And it's an idea that the American is a man on a deal, and I say, Mitchell, me home. I saw for the baby, you know. Woman named How to Struggle to Open a Church. Say, yeah, Brian, who pan, yeah, be a sorry. A lot of pastors does not know. Name him, or so for no, or ba. We invite him, or no ba. Na, or no ba, yeah, sorry. Oh, moi, oh, moi. Na sorry for no, I couldn't book at you. So for us, we are you. Ah, one starting by one. One starting by one fear. So can we have any problem? I so for you to walk around so any members in the country or more. Now, what did you want to sell for? Numbers. Oh, I am here consultation Monday in the Abra. Me who near maybe one. I am here consultation. You be one and say. Deeper, what I know, I tell me, and son, and I will tell you, no, the Fanco, no, the Aquas, that any day. Sadly, you should do so, Cassian, yes, 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 Namongo can't say, but 
and your bed, dear dear. Momanus, and said, Your banner who concluded him. Nancy, I feel more for a brass or a mature child. And I don't pay, and there you don't remember at this moment. I want to talk to you about the contract of the attorney and the power of attorney. Some of the characters said, Power of attorney, you know who is that. And you have to be in agreement. You can't be a power of attorney without an agreement. There should be a contract. A paper that you have to sign. That from today, or I have to sign for you. To appoint you to be my power of attorney. And when it comes to contract. When it comes to contract. Law of contract. There is written contract and there is verbal contract. I give you my work out because I am trying and signing today. It doesn't bind you. Who do I know? Koto, a baby is also about what now. A verbal contract. You don't need to sign paper. Hallelujah. And I may be hold money pending, but you could do a long one. It may be a chicharo money here here. When Jesus Christ gave power of attorney to the church, to his disciples, he made a contract with them. In the book of Acts chapter number 8, chapter 1 verse 8, was said, na emamo mfribe abia Jerusalem, emamo nko ba bia. Montan ko sisa ho ho nko bro no, ebeba mo so. That's the agreement. Agreement is that do not move, don't go anywhere. Until the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Amen. So the Holy Spirit was used as a term of contract between believers and Jesus Christ to win souls. He was the mediator of the contract. You have to see him before you go. He is the terms of the contract. When you, write a, when you write a contract, there are terms of the contract. When you buy a phone or you buy anything, they give you terms of or conditions of the things that you have purchased. And American people, they are so clever that they will make the terms of the contract so complicated that, brother, when you look at the terms of the contract that they say read and agree, you yourself, right, you type, so you just... Especially when you are doing it on computer. And your people and so on. The way of the people say, I want to be my word. People say, some tia 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 piano. And some one but to a good people, you are the best word. Best 10 pages. Why are you in here? You also got a false Africa for us in the impact in game. Africa for us in the impact in game. How many of us now? You are going to have a year. I want to have a year. My agreement. I am going to read it. We don't read it. Just few of us. Hallelujah. We don't have to read it. Terms of the contract. Okay. What I'm saying is that Christians, our terms of the contrast to go and win souls is the Holy Spirit to come upon you. The Holy Spirit to come upon you for a purpose. Now let's go to the Bible, to the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 38 and 39. In kind scripture, my boy. Acts chapter number 2, verse 38 and 39. Because scripture, no doubt, you can see a kind of verse 38 and 39. It says 39. The verse number 38 says, Then Peter said to them, Repent. Do you remember that I said why we were yet sinners Christ died for us. But do you know Christ cannot die for you until you, re you repent? Before Christ's death will benefit you, the first thing you have to do is to repent. Hallelujah. Is to repent. We need to repent every day. Repent from your mindset. 
This morning I was telling you about Africans and especially I'm a Ghanaian, so I know about Ghanaians. Everything is spiritual. Everything is bay. Everything is bay. You know that, that it's, it's time now for us to repent and change our mindset about bay, bay, bay. If you want to see the power and the glory of God, we need to change our mindset. Hallelujah. And as Christians, we need to make or we need to take step and fulfill the part of our contract. The Holy Spirit that was promised is here with us. It is our responsibility to receive him and appropriate his management or what he has for us. We got to wake up, arise and begin to shine wherever you are. By going out as Jesus Christ has commanded us. Like I said this morning in the teaching. We have been given the power of atoning from Jesus. And anything that Jesus Christ is supposed to do here on earth. He has given us the authority to do it. To perform it. Hallelujah. I used to ask this simple question. Have you seen... How many of you have seen God standing at Walmart or giant preaching? He doesn't do that. He is capable of doing anything, but he uses us to do whatever he wants to do. Allow yourself for God to use you. Somebody say amen. amen. But you know that if you have not repented, you have not changed your mind. You don't have a, a change of mind. You cannot allow yourself for God to use you. So Peter said, Repent! And let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sin. So the purpose of repentance is to give you remission of sin, meaning is to forgive your sins. Is to forgive your sins. And then be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, which is the terms of the condition of the contract that Jesus promised. Or we have to wait to see him before we Go out to preach. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's free. There is no charge. Although. You have confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. That is right. That is perfect. Every one of us. Has the right to go to heaven. Because we have received Jesus Christ. As our Lord and personal Savior. But the responsibility that comes with the salvation is to go out and win souls. The responsibility that comes with the Holy Spirit salvation is to go out. And that is the more reason Jesus Christ has appointed us and has entered into an agreement with us. Listen. In a contract, law of contract, you two people come together and they enter into an agreement. We agreed on common purpose. We agreed on something that is common to, do, to the two of us. You sign, I sign it. Jesus, according to Colossians chapter 3 verse 3, he said that your, your, your life, say my life. Oh, as a, as a, say my life. my life. He said your life is hid in Christ with God. Hey, somebody say amen. amen. Do you hear what he said? Your life is hid in Christ with God. Who be in sanity? 
Colossians 3 3. Your life. Do you, know, do you know the reason why I say we need to have a, a, mind, a, 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 a change of mindset about being spiritual, spiritual, spiritual? Where are you going to go? For you died and now, not yesterday, you died with Christ. Now, your life is hid in Christ with God. And the Bible for power back when who was saying when the Jesus who now we cry and say Jesus move in and go and change. The Bible for the Bible for the law of you get me up. Bible for by your son and I Bible for. Somebody has told you that your grandmother is a witch, your mother is a witch, and the, and, and the women. Somebody has told you that your mother-in-law is a witch. Do you believe in witch or witches? We believe that the spirits are there, demons are there. We don't say they are not there. I'm not saying they are not there. Okay? They are there. But if your life, sister, if your life, you believe your life, Jesus, Jesus has given you number one, He has given you power of attorney, and because of that. He has kept your life in him with God. Who can be against you if Christ be with you? Hallelujah. Or you don't believe, you don't believe that Christ is with you. You don't believe that Jesus Christ is with you. That is the purpose of his contract. That he says, and I will be with you to the end of this world. I will be with you to the end of this world. All power, all powers has been given to me. That's what we were reading. All powers has been given to me. All you need to do is from today change your mindset. Change your mindset. Begin to think positively. Begin to believe that God is able. He's more than able. Nothing can overcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. No problem will come. According to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, is it verse 9 or verse 19? Are you there? Huh? I think, I think it's verse 19. Hmm. Praise the Lord, chapter 1, verse 19. It says that they will fight against you. The Bible doesn't say that. Nobody is going to fight against you spiritually or physically. Spiritually, they will fight you. Physically, they will fight you. Emotionally, they will fight you. Psychologically, they will fight you. In every area, they are going to fight you. But the Bible says they will not prevail. They will not prevail means they will not succeed. Hallelujah. Why they will not succeed? Because Jesus said on the cross, when he died for sinners, he said, it is finished. When Jesus died for sinners, he said on the cross that it is finished. It is finished for your victory. Victory is yours. Victory is not for the devil. Victory is not for the witches. And that is why I mean, I can say I don't believe in witches. Not that they, they are not there. Not that witches are not there, but I don't believe them. I don't believe them in the sense that they have no power over me. Because he that is in me is greater than the one that is in the world. This is the promise of the contract. The promise of the contract. That go into all the world or all nations. Begin to preach. I have given you power. You see where I'm coming from? If you, if you take down and or if you sit down and analyze all these simple scriptures that I'm giving you, that your life is hidden with Christ in God, and that He that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world, and that who can be against you if Christ be for you, and that the Lord said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, and that. No, they will fight you, but they will not succeed. 
and that no weapon that form against you shall prosper. If you sit down, put all this thing together, and you come to the book of Mark, chapter number 16, and then verse 17, that tells you, and then you shall drink poison, and it will not have any effect on you. That does not mean be, be so silly, and then say that, the Bible says, no more grandpa, and now she, and into now I want him. Don't try it. That is not what Jesus Christ is telling us. But Jesus is saying, now that you have believed in him and you are obeying. Oh, oh, you have been obedient to his word going out if spiritually if unknowingly somebody want to harm you God will protect you from that person anybody who want to harm you unknowingly unknowingly God will deliver you he will protect you he will send his angel because of you all you need to do is to begin to repent and do or follow Jesus. Let me finish that quick. So verse number 38, 39 says, so the gift, which is the terms of our contract, which we must go according to the contract, and the contract says, wait until you receive the spirit, is a gift for everyone, gift it. Gift is meant for anybody. There are no special people. Gift is meant for anybody. For children. For women. For men. Anybody that is available or avails him or herself. The gift is for you. Hallelujah. How many of you here believe that the gift of the Holy Spirit belongs to you? Oh, is there only few people that believe, believe that the gift of the Holy Spirit belongs to you? I believe the gift of the Holy Spirit belongs to me and everyone that listen to me. Amen. Verse 39. He said that for the promise, listen to that, the promise is to you and your children. The promise is for you and your children and to all who are far off. Who are far off. As many as the Lord, our God will call. As many as the Lord will call, whether it doesn't matter where they come from, it doesn't matter their geographical uh, uh, settings, it doesn't matter their every uh, 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 background, where you're Chinese, where you're American, where you're Ghana, Ghana, or Free Fire, or Free Dagomba, or Free Ahe, or Free Asante, it doesn't matter. Hey, it's for everyone. Hallelujah. It's for everyone. How many of you are ready? God will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to do the will of God. Contract is a contract. Contract is a contract. If you obey it, God is ever faithful. God is ever faithful. To back up his word. He said, I stand behind my word. To make sure it comes to pass. Everything that God has said concerning you shall surely come to pass. They will never fail. In the name of Jesus. This morning, as I speak to you about the power of attorney, and you believe that power, or you have been chosen to be the power of attorney of Jesus Christ. Let, let me read this scripture before I close. I, I, I was about to close, but uh, this scripture, I, I have to read it. John chapter 14. Some scripture is coming, which I think I need to settle it before I leave here. I need to settle this scripture. Uh, John chapter 14. Amen. This place that Jesus Christ is telling them. 
And what is he telling them? Let me read from verse 1. No, no, let's take it from verse 8. Let me read from verse 8 a little bit. Philip was here once, a radicre, a quatre, a jam. Nanoa dos my. And I yes, sorry. Now yes, you see one, sir. Eh, minimum, and I'm sorry, minimum one that day. Moo, moo, me and I, and I'm fripple. Moo, me and I'm fripple. The old woman will wait, Jano. I didn't know what's it, Jano. When you say, we were Jano and Jano's woman, one, and someone may come into the mono. In Fimia, in Fimia, me too, and I may come. Naja. What time is now? Now, why are you human? Money is there. And I'm money is there. No idea no more. And I don't know so. I want more. Now, since this ah, in human, in time money, in sorry, since this ah, in human, me in time money me. Me I can't tell you no cream is there. And I say no cream I'm pass there. Dear, what time is dear? And you may or no answer by Cassie, Amen. A hen of a can, a cat on may come at me, can't verse number twelve. Okay, I just want to read that one quick again in English. Quick, Mr. Tiffany, verse number eight. Oh, maybe you see also a pons is out, and that, that is John chapter 14. I did not plan to read all these scriptures. Was say, Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it's sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me? Philip, he who has seen me has seen God, or has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Verse 10, do you not believe that I am in the Father? And the Father is in me. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. The same authority now you use. The words that I speak to you is not of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe in, believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me. For the sake of the works themselves. Verse 12. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believe in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than this, he will do. Because I go to my father. And whoever you, and wh whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it in the name of Jesus to the glory of God. Amen. Did you hear verse number 12? He said, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me or believes in me, the works that I do, you see, that is where we do so we have the power of attorney. If you have the power of attorney, whatever the person is able to do, you also do it. Can say amen. If he healed the sick, you also heal the sick. Whatever he does, he has given you the authority. If he saves souls, you also save souls. Hallelujah. But do you know? The power that Jesus Christ has given us is even over his own power when he was on earth. Do you know he has given us more power than himself when he was on earth? How many of you believe that? <laughs> if you say you believe that and I ask you why do you believe, you got to tell me why you believe it. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I said the power that the power of attorney we are talking about is it a seed the power that Jesus Christ himself was using. 
Do you want me to explain it to you in short before I close? Because, do you know Jesus Christ didn't say for anybody? Ah, is that, is that something you haven't heard that? I said, Jesus Christ himself, when he was on earth, he didn't save anybody. How many of you believe that? Did Jesus Christ save somebody when he was on earth? Huh. Jesus did not save any soul when he was on earth. It was after he died. Because it is only through his death that saved sinners. Eh? It is only through his death. And that is why that's guy that was hung on the cross when he died with Jesus Jesus said I say to you that today you will be with me in paradise but when Jesus Christ was in the flesh he was a human being on earth he couldn't take anybody to paradise it is only after his death the power of his resurrection and you know that the power of his resurrection has been given to us it is we the the believers in Jesus Christ, we have been given the authority to save somebody that is lost. Okay? It is we that have been given the power to save somebody, to deliver somebody from the hands and the camps of Satan. And that's why we preach the truth of Jesus. We preach the gospel and people are saved and they come to Jesus. We preach and the homosexuals are coming to Jesus. We preach and the lesbians are coming to Jesus. We preach and the, and the drunkards are coming to Jesus. We preach and the arm robbers are coming to Jesus. Because they are the reason why Jesus died. We preach and the greedy are coming to Jesus. The greed people. People who are not satisfied with the little that they have. They will do everything. Even it has to kill you, brother. He doesn't care. You are, you, you are behind him. You are his next brother. He will kill you. He will kill you to buy Mercedes Benz. Just to pick Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz are Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz. They say the man is going to kill you. Especially among country money and more or more Ghana. They said the pint in Omidi Jew. Pint. Ah, what's that? The amount per pint in Mono. The what's that? And these are the people where Jesus died. Suck our people. And that's why he wants us to go and talk to them. Bring them to church. And they shall also receive salvation in the name of our Lord Jesus. Listen, do you know that all this thing that I'm telling you, if you want to change your mind right now, if you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, do you know it's not far from you? Let me show you. It's not far from you at all. If you want to repent, maybe you have been coming to church for a long time, but you haven't given your life to Jesus. You have not even confessed Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior before. Do you know you can do it today? It's easy. It's not difficult. You don't pay anything to, to get to that place. In the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 8 and 9, he said, what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if you confess with your mouth, that the Lord Jesus, in your heart, that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved you will be saved. Hallelujah. If you trust, close your eyes. Say, Lord, I want you to say it after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this afternoon, for your word. I believe it, that you died for my sins. And while I was yet a sinner, you died for my sins. I give glory to your Father God. Continue to forgive me and cleanse me for, from every sin. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God richly bless you from today in Jesus' name. Oh, it's your father, Dr. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, I said many a doctor. 